Hello cadets. Welcome back to online video sessions. Today we will start with third chapter motions of the earth. Earth has two types of motions namely rotation and revolution. We will discuss these motions in details. Number 1 rotation. It is spinning movement of the earth on its own axis. It is also called axial movement of the earth. Our earth rotates anticlockwise and completes its rotation in one day means 24 hours. The earth takes around 24 hours to complete one rotation around its axis. The period of rotation is known as earth day. This is the daily motion of the earth. The axis of earth is an imaginary line which makes an angle of 66 and half degree from the horizontal line or the orbital plane line and 23 and half degree from the vertical line from the earth's orbital plane. The earth receives heat and light from the sun since Earth is spherical, only one half of it gets light from the sun at a time. The portion facing the sun experiences day, while the other half away from the sun experiences night. The circle that divides day from night on the globe is called the circle of illumination. This is not coincide with the axis. What would happen? If the earth didn't rotate, the portion of the earth facing the sun would always experience day, thus bringing continuous warmth to the region. The other half would remain in eternal darkness and be freezing cold all the time. Life would not have been possible in such extreme conditions. Change in length of daytime affects changing of seasons which is essential for life to survive and evolve. Second motion is revolution. The second motion of the earth around the sun in its orbit is called revolution. It is the revolving movement of the earth around the sun in a fixed orbit. That's why it is also called orbital movement of the earth. The plane formed by the orbit is called orbital plane. It takes 365 and 14 days to revolve around the sun. We consider a year as consisting of 365 days only and ignore 6 hours for the sake of convenience. 6 hours saved every year are added to make one day over a span of 4 years. This surplus day is added to the month of February. Thus, every fourth year, February is of 29 days instead of 28 days. Such a year with 366 days is called a leap year. The earth moves around the sun in almost elliptical orbit. Throughout its orbit, the earth is inclined. In next video, we will study about solstice.